A woman was attacked by a shark in Sydney Harbour earlier this week, a strange occurrence for this time of year. So why did this incident happen? And is Australia really seeing a rise in shark attacks? There's quite a few factors. So, I mean, if you, as I said, if you look at absolute numbers, yes, shark bites are increasing, but once you throw into the mix, population increases, more people living by the coast, warmer temperatures, meaning more people go to the water more often and for longer periods. It comes down to the numbers game of probability more so than the numbers of sharks. But I suppose it all speaks to the fact that it's never been more important to make sure that we have evidence-based measures and we continue researching as to how our oceans work, particularly in a warming climate and how we use the waters. So we can gather that data, uh, whether it's through tagging and tracking, mapping oceanogra oceanographic conditions, climate conditions, even social data, like social sciences are going to be really important and if not are really important in managing risk and safety at the beach. And collating all that information can then inform the governments that are responsible for our safety to make those evidence-based decisions that really do improve safety for people. People become informed about the risks they're willing to take and also the safety of wildlife so that we're not going down this, to be quite blunt, ridiculous and stupid and archaic path of, of killing animals that has no evidence-based measure of, of improving safety. So the solutions are there, the data is there, the science is there, we have the talent, we have the know-how, um, and there are ways that we can address this issue to really improve safety for people and wildlife alike. Generally speaking, after heavy rainfall, it's always advisable to perhaps maybe not swim near river mouths and estuaries. Again, murky water conditions are favoured by bull sharks for, for hunting. Um, and, and we know from, from tagging data that they do tend to um, be present at estuaries and river mouths during periods of rainfall. The classic dawn and dusk sharks generally tend to be a bit more active in those evening periods, low light conditions. Other things that people may not be aware of, like if you see a bunch of seagulls dipping into the one spot in the water, it's probably because there's a bait ball. And where there's a big concentration of small fish, there may also be larger fish there trying to capitalise on that feed as well.